international bomb spiel has come to Ferndale, Michigan this weekend. Coming up, we'll tell you about some of the teams that have come from around the country to participate in curling and what makes this sport so wildly popular. The NHL on ice, you might think that there are no real winter sports happening, but you'd be wrong. Jennifer Hammond takes us on a new experience at the Detroit Curling Club in Ferndale. They've come from Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Ontario, and as far away as North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. The 2013 Men's International Bond Spiel is taking place this weekend at the Detroit Curling Club in Ferndale. The curling is a great sport. I mean, it's a lifelong sport like golf. You can do it when you're young, and you can do it when you're my age, and uh, just the camaraderie here. The Detroit Curling Club has been a special place for us to go. It's been said to me many different times from some older curlers, and it's very true. It, it's As soon as the game embraces you, you embrace the game, and then it's like you're a lifetime member. This event has been going on since 1897 and so many of the participants keep coming back year after year. One of the things they love is the fact that it's so social and the losers are also winners. The tradition is the winner of the game buys the losing team a drink so there's no hard feelings. You can be good, you can be bad, doesn't really matter. At the end of the game you shake hands and you go and uh, sit at a table and uh, drink a couple beers and converse. And if you ask any of these curlers what they like most about their sport, it comes down to one simple word. Curling is really about the fellowship. I like those Scots that invented the game because they invented not only golf and curling, but scotch, and so uh, <laughs> we like to participate in all three of those. In Ferndale, Jennifer Hammond, Fox 2 Sports. Yeah, you got to know how to throw the rock, Marie and Sherry. Also, don't forget the cotton.